Stay still. I'm doing a shitty drawing of a shitty drawing. <laughs> what if, why does it have three ears? <laughs> one of them's the arm. Right. Which one do you guys like? Which one do you like? That's so bad. Uh, <laughs> I think this one's better. Right. And not because I drew this poorly. <laughs> I did a great job. Let us know which is better. Okay, but this is so different from the sketch. This is the sketch. And this one is, technically it's this one, but I couldn't do it with the pen. Pen is mightier than the sword, they say. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're getting my first and second tattoos at my friend Joyce's mom's tattoo shop called Magic Tattoo in Queens. And I actually came here back in college and chickened out the day of because I was just so afraid of the permanence of tattoos back then. But five years later, we're back and about to make a decision that I will either love or seriously regret for the rest of my life. And this is also actually a bi-monthly gathering of my college friends. And almost everyone was also getting a tattoo today. Oh, hi. So the first part of the appointment was actually deciding on placement, which I didn't give that much thought prior to. I probably should have. I just knew I wanted it somewhere on my arm, and I think the upper arm was where I thought it would look best. I like the inside of the arm because it's like subtle but dramatic. My friend Angela went first, and her tattoo came out so so beautifully. This is what it looked like. I think she got another one too, but I'm like blanking where exactly she got it because I didn't take video and I'm doing this voiceover like six months later. <laughs> but last minute, I also decided to get the second tattoo today in conjunction with James. And it was a cute little orange stamp like this one. No pressure. We're just so scary. It's okay. Where are we going to do? Why don't you do it? You're going to be like, oh, it was not that bad. Okay. Mm, same. Same. Everybody shave. Everybody shave. Oh, yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so scared about the pain. Doesn't it look so cute though? Yeah, it looks cute. It's so silent. <laughs> you want us to play music? We're being respectful. Nature no, no, no. sounds. Real bumping. Um, relaxing music. Yes. Just stay still. I don't know if I can do it. Really? You just gotta get through it. <laughs> I really thought it was. And for my own tattoo, I had spent several nights before drawing out a ton of different ideas. So my first idea was to honor my two babies at home, Honey and Gata. And I had this idea a few months ago to get a yin yang symbol with the two of them in kind of a spread out position. I shared this on my Instagram and a lot of you guys liked it, but I just couldn't come up with the perfect design. I also wanted to get a needle and thread to symbolize my mom, who has been a seamstress for the last few decades. And as a kid, I used to spend a lot of long nights with my mom in the basement where she would be sewing until like 4 a.m and i would be helping her with the seam ripper and sewing small things and also i thought the needle and thread could be a good commemoration to the beginning of my youtube channel where i actually did a lot of diys and thrift flips which some of you guys might not know so i thought it was very fitting for my first tattoo because you're like fighting through your tears <laughs> yeah you look like you were going to pass out i actually yeah. was looking at the sky and i was like <laughs> Yeah. 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 
And lastly, I persuaded James to get a cute little matching tat with me and we were on our way with a huge, huge thank you to Mrs. Lee. Oh God, it so looks yellow. so different, Color right? <laughs> Color theory. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Mine is like orange. Say hi, Mooski. Good morning. A little tattoo reveal. This is the first tattoo and this is the second one. This one is starting to scab a lot. I've seen some photos of people who have gotten tattoos and the scabbing is so scary. But right now it's just a little bit difficult because I feel like I can't wear a shirt that cover my arms. But hopefully it heals well. I do personally like this one a little bit more than this one because this one i spent a lot of time trying to figure out what i wanted the forearm tattoo was so painful so when mrs lee miss lisa started going into my arm it kind of just feels like a paper cut but like a prolonged paper cut where they're just dragging the paper across your skin and ripping open your skin i know that's really gory but that's just how it felt for me i also think because there's more detail in this one like some of you guys asked me and DM'd me after I posted photos on my Instagram story about it. If it was painful, it was painful. <laughs> so that is how the tattoos turned out. Hello, it is Sarah from the future here and it's been officially two weeks since I got my first two tattoos and I wanted to give another update because I know the healing process is a huge part of getting a tattoo and I've had mainly mostly a smooth healing process albeit a little bit of a rash on my red tattoo but here is how things are looking this one is pretty much mostly healed i don't feel any sort of like raised skin bumps rashes pain or anything this one though has been my problem child i didn't know going into this that red ink tattoos heal on average a little bit harder than regular black ink tattoos, but apparently they do. So if you guys are getting red ink tattoos, just, that's just something to keep in mind. I will say the first couple of days, I had no issues with this. On the fifth day, I started noticing a little bit of like raised bumps on the tattoo line. So I don't know if that was an infection. It definitely didn't hurt. Neither of these tattoos hurt in the healing phase, which is a good sign because if it hurts, then you probably have an infection. But yeah. I don't know if you can see, but it is slightly bumpy and raised and I have been trying to be really good about keeping this moisturized. So the first 10 days I was on this ointment and then I switched over to Aquaphor because I know this is like a holy grail for a lot of people who have tattoos. I did not realize, but diaper rash is one of the things that both of these are good for. I've also been trying to avoid the pool and hot tubs, which has been very hard because I was on a trip where we had a heated pool. But yeah, that is how everything is looking. I am already thinking of like new tattoos I want to get, so maybe there will be another tattoo vlog soon. Say hi, Moosey. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. I'm actually going to a tattoo studio right now to get my third tattoo and fourth tattoo. They're two complimentary flashes that I want to get right here. But yeah, it's been a couple months since my other tattoos, so just, just a little status update. This is how they're looking. These have been fully healed for so long now, but I wanted to get some more tattoos. As everyone says, you get addicted once you get your first few. And I have this artist that I follow that I really, really liked, and she opened her bookings and I managed to get a slot. So we are gonna go today and get our third and fourth tattoo. Here are the photos of the tattoos that I was considering. I ended up picking this one, so I'm so excited. And I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit. Um, and yeah, let's go get tatted. So if you guys didn't see my little reel on Instagram, today we are getting two more tattoos on my right arm and this time they are studio ghibli themed and i've been following the artist who made this flash sheet for so long her name is made of flowers and her bookings opened up at the beginning of the year i finally managed to get a slot and she had this flash sheet with the cutest design we spent maybe 20 minutes on placement because there are so many different ways to configure the tattoo but we landed on this little wrap around the right arm which is exactly what i originally had thought of when i first saw the tattoo but because this was my second rodeo i really wasn't that nervous like i was so so excited to get this specific set of tattoos and i know that tattoos are not for everyone kim kardashian once said that your body is a ferrari or something like that 
so why would you put a bumper sticker on it but i don't know my body's like a honda crv so i wanted to put some rhinestones on it and i think it's fine but i don't know i don't know if this is the right analogy <laughs> but i personally just see tattoos as a way of self-expression and i guess with all these cute little tats I just want to express that I'm cute <laughs> jokes. No, but truthfully, I just want to have a collection of little designs that share parts of who I am. And while I did fall in love with this flash design originally, Studio Ghibli is kind of just a gentle reminder of my childhood and this folder of Studio Ghibli CDs, DVDs, LDs. It's crazy that I'm forgetting what exactly these are called, but my dad used to have these movie discs that he would put on every single weekend for me to watch and it was just a whole collection of Studio Ghibli movies and I have no idea where he even got it from. I think he got it from like a garage sale. But yeah, she was such a beauty after and the appointment just flew by in a breeze. I chatted with the tattoo artist Savannah the whole time over just like random things like our personal perspectives, our job, our relationships and yeah, it was just such a good time and I came out with this amazing amazing tattoo just finished the appointment and i'm so freaking happy with it you guys <laughs> okay i'm gonna it's super cold right now so i cannot show you guys but i will show you guys once i get home and I, i'm just so happy with it hello it has been officially one day since i got my third and fourth tattoos and voila this is her so i ended up getting this totoro and this bouquet of flowers that kind of like leads into it and i am so happy with the placement i just feel like it looks perfect and it's everything that i was planning i have been thinking about this for the longest time and i got exactly what i wanted and i'm just so she's so cute oh my god look at this and i thought i would like the totoro a little bit more but I actually think the bouquet is my favorite. Also, my arm's a little ashy, so I'm so sorry about that. But um, I'm gonna sit very prim and proper so you guys can see what it looks like. But it kind of just looks a little bit hidden. So this is what she looks like. And I'm so happy. Also, look at that line work. That is just amazing. It kind of just looks like a sticker on my body. Like if I ripped this off, it would just come off with it. But it is fully in my skin i also have one other tattoo appointment booked in two weeks with another artist so i'm just in my tattoo era and i don't know if you guys can tell but i'm really enjoying like the creative process of creating like not a full sleeve yet but just like pieces on my body anyways this time around the second skin is staying on for three to four days so i'm gonna rip this off in a couple of days but for the time being this actually makes it so much easier because i feel like i can like touch it and do whatever i want with it without feeling like i am like it's gonna get infected but yeah i will check in in a couple of days because